Hi, I'm John Kenyon. This video is to tell you a little bit about my level two training, intermediate training. And the focus of the training is on what I like to call conversation maps. So maps of how to navigate different kinds of conversations, difficult conversations. And I like to, so the um, kind of analogy or metaphor I like to use is like it, in, a, in a world of conflict, you think of like kind of a globe or a world of conflict, there are different territories or regions of disconnection, how we humans get disconnected from ourselves and others. And so depending on what territory we're in, it helps to have, well, whatever territory, it helps to have a map. If we, can, if we have a map to follow, a way to utilize the components and skills that we have, if we have a map to kind of help us use those to, to navigate through whatever difficulty we're in, having a map really, really helps. And so the idea though, that in, there are different kind, different ways we can be in conflict and disconnection. So whatever territory we're in, it's helpful to have a map that fits well with that territory. So this training is all about different maps that, that, uh, that come out of actually a, a body of work I co-created with uh, my close colleague, I Ike Lasseter, we call Mediate Your Life. So out of that Mediate Your Life training, these different uh, conversation maps uh, evolved over, over time um, and became uh, this uh, whole body of, of work and a year long training program. And so this level two training is sort of a distillation out of that into the sort of the key uh, maps of conversation. And that, uh, so depending on what, what territory we're in, it really helps to have this kind of a map to follow. And each map at the core of all of them is what's in my level one training, which is the, the foundations of the observation, feeling, need, request, empathic communication components and the skills of using those. Um, so that's sort of, I think of as the, like kind of the DNA, the cellular level of, of, of the maps, but the maps are kind of a greater sense of complexity to deal with these different regions uh, of, of disconnection and conflict that we humans can get into. So that can be internally like, within ourselves or parts of ourself that we're in conflict with each other, or just internally dealing with some challenge outside of us, but we're, we're how to work on it internally and then respond externally. And then just to how to have conversate different difficult conversations with other people. So it's um, these, these maps that can guide us and help us have these conversations and get, uh, we like to say, get to the, to the other side back to an empathic connection, to responding compassionately and creatively and finding new possibilities and solutions. Yeah. So I like to talk about that in terms of the power of conflict actually. So a lot of people think, you know, experience myself included, that conflict can be uncomfortable and, and we wanna get away from it, avoid it, you know? So, but if we have not only the, the, the basic components and skills, but also these maps to help us guide us through these difficult kinds of conversations and conflicts. That that it can it can um, the the power the energy and power within conflict because conflict is very natural. It's like part of life and being alive that there's conflict that happens all the time, and if we can approach it constructively, then it's actually conflict is really the way that we often we get to a new place. We, we deal with conflict, which it's about kind of bringing together differences and new ways and opening up new possibilities. But often there's, there's, there's conflict that goes with that. But we can approach conflict in a very healthy way in a very positive, constructive way that actually helps get us to that much better place to those much more wonderful possibilities. And of course, we know, like with the analogy of fire, say, fire can, you know, be this wonderful thing of warming us and helping us eat what food and, and, and also fire can burn our house down and, and kill us and, and be very, very destructive. So of course, we, we know that conflict can be incredibly destructive and violent, 
but it can also be very, very like helpful and useful in a, at the way to get to a new place to get it once we get on the other side of it. So these maps give a way to access the really transformative, positive power of conflict. Okay. Um, another, I like to think even a deeper aspect of this, of this work, of this approach, this level of training is what I call a triad model of conversation and consciousness. So what that means is in terms of triad, so the triangle and two parts, two sides of the triangle being the two opposing perspectives of a conflict. In a conversation, there's self and other and this polarization and conflict of perspectives and differences, right? So there's the duality of the two, kind of two perspectives facing each other that are in, in conflict. And then this, the, the triad is the idea that there's a third dimension, a third side, a third perspective that really isn't its own perspective. It's about holding multiple perspectives, holding both sides together equally and actually experiencing a larger wholeness. So that that third dimension, that third chair, I sometimes call the three chairs of a conversation. So the third chair is um, awareness, consciousness, the ability to access a whole nother realm or dimension of our experience of reality. So not just the experience of a, a duality of life, of self, other, up, down, right, wrong, good, bad, but uh, a non-dual aware uh, perspective that um, is comes in those various meditation, mindfulness traditions that talk about non-duality. So I just think of that third perspective, that third chair that's holding the conversation between the two polarized perspectives. Uh, so it's this it's this um, you know, holding together that image of the triad in a conversation is for me, it's holding the bothness of the duality of the conflict or the conversation and this third dimension that opens up a transcendence into new possibilities and new ways of seeing things, new ways of connecting. So it's about accessing that larger connectedness and wholeness and new creative possibilities. So the whole, the training, there's a lot of, that's kind of the, the undercurrent of the training is this, this model based on this three, uh, three, three perspectives, if you will, uh, of the triad. Okay, so um, lastly, I'll just say, uh, talk a little bit about the challenges that I see in the world and how this training responds or gives tools to, to, to deal with what's happening in the world. The way I see it, we human beings are entering or now in this transition period of going from a, a way of being in the world that is is sort of breaking down and collapsing and not working and very pretty dysfunctional and unhealthy in a lot of ways in the prop, but breaking down in order to get to something new, which we know in terms of cycles of, of life, of, you know, death and rebirth and all that, but that, that I see us at a macro level move, you know, kind of, moving towards a much healthier, more sustainable, more ecologically focused way of relating in harmony with, our, with each other, with nature, the natural world. Um, but then in going through that transition, it's, it's incredibly challenging and difficult and tremendous adversity, and which we're already starting to experience, existential even challenges that we face as human beings now. So, and those, of course, all those challenges at the social, political, environmental level ripple down into affecting us at the more personal level of our own lives, right? And so this training really gives an, an, uh, 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 another level of, of tools that you can use to not only kind of show up in your own life and navigate these different challenges, but also be part of the positive changes that are trying to happen in the larger world, moving to, um, to a, a, a new way we can be on this planet, you know, by facing these really intense challenges. So with these tools, um, from this level of training, you'll be able to uh, contribute in whatever ways you feel just naturally called to, 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 to be part of that larger evolution and change and growth. Um, uh, so however you're moved or called to be part of that 
to be part of that change these tools will give you a way to show up with all the conflict that's happening at the larger level and whatever ways you are um, drawn to big or small to being part of the the more macro level of, of, of changes happening so I hope that's helpful for you about what the training is about. It's very focused on practice um, with me weekly and, and weekly um, live sessions, but also with a, a, a relatively small group of people. So you get to practice with different people and in between the sessions, a lot of practice I'll encourage. So it's very experiential, very practice oriented and, uh, and really giving you these these very powerful tools to navigate really any kind of challenge that can come up internally or externally uh, in, in whatever situation you're facing or whatever's going on in the world, the larger world, this gives tools to respond to that in a way that gets us back in touch with our empathic connectedness as human beings with, with each other, with all of life on the planet, responding compassionately and really effectively and creatively to, um, to help um, enter into new possibilities. So thank you and I hope to see you uh, in the future.